how to use blogging to get leads. Today we're going to talk about how to get people on your email list and how to get people buying from you and becoming future clients. So the main and the most important thing that your blog is for is to generate traffic to your website. Now, this is of course the main reason why a lot of people will put a blog on their site and try to give as much content as possible to their ideal clients or their target audience. Now, what do you do once your blog is generating a little bit of traffic? So once you get people onto your site, onto your blog more specifically, you're going to want to give them something in exchange. And this is what we call a freebie. It is something that the people who visit your site, whilst they're reading their blog, um, they might get interested to actually download something that has more value. So typically a freebie is a PDF, uh, maybe a free training video. Um, it can be anything. It can be an ebook, it can be a template, it can be a checklist, it can be something that is valuable to your reader. Now most of the time this will be connected to the blog post that you're reading and it will also be connected of course to what you sell so that we make sure that anybody that en ends up on your list is a potential client. So, how do we set up these freebies? Now, the technical side, I'm going to reserve it for another video. But from the strategy side, what you need to do is you have three different freebies so that you can identify where your lead has come from. So, if there are leads um, that have come from the awareness stage, so you will have some, some content on your site where you know, you're talking about the problems your ideal client would be experiencing. So you would know that people who have downloaded the freebie are actually looking for information to resolve this problem. And that's all you need to know because from then onwards, you can actually send them information, um, educational information perhaps from your blog. And then, you know, you keep them in the cycle of getting them to a stage where they know enough about the problem to actively seek the right solution and of course your product or your service is going to be one of the right solutions to their problems because that's how they have found you by googling the problem and then there will be another stage of course you will also have things like uh, testimonials case studies so anybody that actually looks at these things is going to be pretty much purchase ready so you want to make sure that if anybody downloads um, anything from that particular page, um, you actually get in touch with them. In fact, usually when you have a case study or something like that, your call to action at the bottom of the blog post is going to be to actually get in touch with you directly. If you can also offer them a freebie, great, because then you can get in touch with them and you have a higher chance of actually closing the sale. This is something that I cover um, in a planning strategy webinar. Um, it's a training masterclass I deliver once every few weeks. So if you are interested in actually knowing how to align your freebies with a strategy and how to create the strategy uh, for your blog post titles or your video blog titles, um, do go to my website and seek out the next webinar. There isn't very much time to cover that in detail now because it's actually a webinar that takes quite a bit of time. So. The next thing you need to do uh, to make sure that you get leads from your blog is to actually follow them up properly. So once you have managed to create this process where you have the blog posts or the video blogs being shared on Facebook or social media, then you bring traffic to your website. They're sitting there, uh, they're reading, they're watching your video. Wow, this pop-up comes up. There's this great freebie. They download it, bang, they're on your list. That is the process that you want. But what do you do once they're on your list? Once they're on your list, you also need to have a follow-up process. And from experience, I can tell you that very often the follow-up process uh, will differ. So if you've already had a business that is offline, and you have been selling already, the follow-up process of the leads that come from the website is going to be a little bit different. And in fact, I'm planning to do a video about this because we will go into all the details of how to follow them up. But it's very important that you make sure that you know 
and you have planned how each lead is going to be followed up because this is a process that you can optimize so with the same number of leads you can actually then close more of them as time passes and as you get to know how your online business is working. I really hope you found this video useful and as usual I will be creating a blog post at stephaniefitani.com slash blog which will have a little bit more information than I gave you here. I don't like to put double content so um, I usually put much more detail into my blog posts of course because I ha also have much more time to think when I'm writing. Video is a very different medium. I would like to encourage you to actually gather leads from your website to keep growing the traffic to your blog and to make sure that you grow your email list so that you can build your business and you can build the life that you want without compromising 